this is project love yourself but also bulk the booty come back so it's like 9 45 right now and i'm about to make breakfast with you guys um I have my aunt here, I'm visiting her in Vegas, and she's gonna teach me how to make her shakes every morning. So I'll just show you guys how we make that, and let's go. So we have how much coconut milk? A fourth of a cup of coconut milk. A fourth of a cup of coconut milk, one banana. Half a banana. Half a banana. A scoop of? Chocolate vegan Shakeology. This right here has like a bunch of like immunity boosting ingredients in it. One scoop of digestive health. Gotta poop. Got to. <laughs> <laughs> One cup of uh, packed spinach. Shove that in there. Shove it in. I also added two tablespoons of PV fit. Truth, guys. Test this out. Wow, that's really good. You want rock? Yeah, it tastes so good. It tastes like a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. 10 out of 10. 10 so, out of 10. <laughs> I'm gonna put the this in my fitness pal and see what it comes out to, and put it up on the screen. Or I'll just show you guys at the end. Show you guys at the end. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna drink this and catch up with you guys later. Okay guys, I have not gone to the gym in a month. And that's because I've been all over Europe. And that is great, eating lots of really, really good food. And it was amazing, it was a fun time. Like for me a year ago to not go to the gym for a month would have been like death, like a panic attack and just me and I couldn't survive life. And me not going to the gym for a month now, I was completely fine. And I think that's awesome. I think you should be able to give yourself a break and not die. I realized my body didn't change that much. And that brought me to kind of think about the reasons people work out and why you should work out. Um, which is what I kind of want to talk about first and then I'll go into like what I'm doing now with my eating and nutrition and stuff. With so many people, they work out for the wrong reasons and that definitely was how I was. I worked out because I didn't like who I was and I wanted to control something in my life and I wanted to have this little hour or two hours a day that I completely controlled and revolved everything around. And it wasn't really even about aesthetics to me because I lost so much weight, I hated how I looked. So it wasn't really about physical self-loathing, which it eventually was because I didn't like how it looked. It was more about um, mental self-loathing, if that makes sense. If you feel like you are developing or have a bad relationship with the gym or working out, first you should focus, I honestly think, on the mental aspect just because for me, the mental aspect, if you focus on that, then physically you will feel better. If you learn to love your body and yourself before you actually go and lose weight and you learn to accept yourself how you are, that mental aspect of acceptance will just lead you to want to get fitter or to want to better your body or to want to get toned because you already love yourself and you just want to create the best version of yourself off of that. I think everybody should just take a step back and like look at why they're really going to the gym. Is it because you want to build a community of friends, that's a positive reason. Or is it because somebody said you were fat and now you feel like you have to go? I don't know. I think, yeah, like I've said this like a million times, but I think you should really learn to go to the gym for you and learn the mental aspect of going to the gym because it really is like mentally 
like hard for a lot of people to find that balance and it's hard for me and I'm still learning but the fact that I just took a month off helped me so much just like with so many things and just made me realize that wow I took a month off and literally nothing happened like nothing happened like I didn't die I was walking everywhere I was walking so much so I was still staying healthy and yeah so that is that I'm going to rant about that sorry there's dogs and also a pool in the background so it might be a little loud the next thing is my little fitness update so I did lose six pounds on vacation which I don't know how like how like I was eating so much like I was eating like stuff I wouldn't have even dreamed of eating like a year ago like I was eating so much gluten-free pasta so much gluten and dairy-free pizza just so much fish and chips like I was eating so much but the fact is like my metabolism is like freaking like horsepower and it just like will develop like devour anything and I somehow lost weight which I think a lot of those muscle but still like what the heck man so I'm on project Aubrey comeback and that is not normal project like get back from vacay like oh my god I hate myself like it over I overindulged no this is project love yourself but also bulk the booty come back I just want to like build I just want to build and um, I have no idea the amount of calories I eat in a day so I really want to test that out today and track my macros and calories while I go along I'll take you guys with me and just see how many calories I eat in a typical day every day is different I really want to like dial it in and so I just want to take you guys along with me on this journey of bulking the booty I really want to just build a good butt that's all I have to say for right now let's get on with this video because this has been way too long and yeah guys so it is now 11 10 and we are my aunt and I are about to go shopping we might go to the big Vegas mall or an outlet mall we're just gonna see and I'm just packing some snacks because if you're anything like me I get like hungry super fast and then I get starving and then I can't function until I like, eat something and if I just pack something it's a lot easier so I packed a skinny pop this is just what she had in her house, and I love popcorn, and then I also packed a giant apple. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really fast. If anybody wants to know, probably not, but. So, shirt is from Brandy, Forever 21, Goodwill, and random store in London, but they're Nike Air Forces. And Zaffle. Okay. <laughs> at Starbucks I got a triple shot almond milk latte hot which I don't know why I got hot because it's like 110 degrees out but we're going to Walmart right now and woo woo. then I'm gonna head back to the house and get a workout in and I'll show you guys that and yeah this is my heaven right here what should I get? Oh my god. On the chocolate almond crunch. And I also got this for tomorrow morning. Even though it has like a lot of sugar, but you know, whatever. My childhood right there. I'm gonna do all those things because Beach Body's here and they haven't gone anywhere. Okay, so we're back home and I'm about to do a workout and I'm writing it down and making one up right now in this handy dandy book. And I just find that it helps a lot when you know what you're doing before you go to the gym. Because if I go to the gym just having the idea in my head that I didn't write down, then I usually end up 
completing like half a workout or just doing less than I would have done if I just wrote it down, held myself accountable and completed the workout and I can like check off the boxes. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, there's like a little at home gym at my aunt's house, which is super cool. So um, I'm gonna just do a mostly dumbbell workout for um, targeting my hands and glutes and possibly Who are you like- a dumbbell? <sighs> Possibly some of my upper body, we'll see. I might put this uh, workout in a separate video, but we'll see how much like footage of it I get. We'll just see, we'll just see. And yeah, okay, I'm gonna write this down, figure out what I'm doing. I'm really sore because I kind of pushed myself too hard after I got back from Europe and I hadn't gone to the gym in so long and I was like dead. So I'm still sore, but we'll see. Oh my God, I'm absolutely dead right now. I just finished my workout and now I'm about to go in the pool i'm wearing this one piece i got it off zaffle for like literally 10 bucks <sighs> but that was like such a fast workout but it was so good and like i'm shaking literally like all over probably because i'm kind of out of shape for me for me right now but uh it was such a good fast workout and like i've learned that you don't have to work out for like an hour and a half to have a good workout. I used to think, oh my God, if I only did a half an hour workout, it's probably not good. It's probably even more effective because I'm, because then my muscles have more time to recover and I didn't stress very, stretch very much, but I'm going in the pool as my like recovery stretch thing. So yeah. And we're also making dinner right now or I'm not making dinner. My aunt's making dinner. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> o'clock at night right now and I'm about to have my last meal of the day which is just these two I'm gonna have a serving of each of these and that is my dessert. good morning guys so it's next morning now I was too lazy to show you guys um, the stuff from last night because the lighting was really really bad and I just hadn't put it all in yet but um, so last night that one serving of Halo Top and one serving of coconut milk butter pecan ice cream was the last thing I had. So I'm just going to show you guys all my calories I consumed yesterday. And actually, it was not as much as I thought it would be. And I know every day varies, but I think I definitely have to, definitely have to up my calories. And I'm going to do it slowly so it's not, doesn't affect my stomach. But, um... I definitely have to up my calories to like see like real results in the gym because I don't think um, how much I consumed yesterday if I'm doing that on a daily basis which I think I'm doing around that is really enough but um yeah I'm just gonna show you guys what it is so here is I just used this random website lose it because it gave the macros and I don't have um, the macros on my fitness pal because I don't have the full version but basically here is my food intake I had 1780 calories and this is just all of it I just put it all in I had 112 grams of protein 155 grams of carbohydrates and 93 grams of fat um, so, I mean, yeah, this is just me, like, eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm satisfied, but I think I could probably start upping this to around eventually 2,300, but, um, I'm gonna do this for a couple more days and just see how this changes, but, um, yeah, okay, so that's all. So that's all for yesterday slash today's video and i hope you guys have a wonderful fantastic amazing morning night or day and i'll see you in the next video